Hello, Captains. It is the Doctor. Welcome to more Let's Play Star Trek Online with Rami Summers, my free-to-play tactical character flying an escort, the Xyphius Escort, right now. I don't have much to report since the last video. I've just continued grinding for Iconian Marks and doing the reputation. Uh, you will note that I am up to 1169 Iconian Marks. So, wow, I have definitely done a lot. Now remember, when you hit tier 5 of any reputation, you get 750 free marks. Plus, if you have a reputation bonus going, which I always do for extra marks, it's actually 900 free marks. So I've got plenty of marks to buy the shield. The shield's going to cost me, I don't know, 750 marks or something. So I got plenty to buy the shield and way more stuff in the Iconian reputation if I want to. Where am I in that reputation? As you can see, I am in Tier 5, um, barely into Tier 5. I, I noted that somebody did the calculation for me in the comments, so thank you very much in the last video. 16 days is what it's going to take me, 16 days to complete the Tier 5 Iconian Resistance reputation. So, yeah, I will definitely be done with all the missioning on this character way before 16 days because we only have like five more missions left or something like that not even that many or something yeah maybe that many so we don't have a lot let's see what do we have we got we've got oh stormbound is next so we got one two three four five i was right five missions and then we're done so yeah i'm gonna be done a lot sooner than 16 days so I will definitely have to make a video later on once I get that shield and the full Iconian set to show you how powerful that set is. And uh, I have been saying on an escort, somebody noted it's not just powerful on an escort, it's powerful on any ship you put it on. Yes, if you want DPS, it's not necessarily the best set for different things though. For example, if you wanted to build a tank, it's not the best set for a tank. There are much better sets that do that. If you wanted a science, a, a science set that you know boosted a, exotic damage a lot, and stuff like that, it's not the best for that. It's the best probably for DPS, but it's not the best for every situation. That's what I meant by, you know, it's typically, typically it's people on escorts and that are tactical characters that really push for that high DPS. So that's why I kept saying, you know, it's really good for an escort. I mean, it is. It's, it is really good for an escort. It's also good DPS for any ship, but it's not necessarily the best for any ship, if that makes any sense. Um, the next mission we're going to do is, fu is under Future Proof is Stormbound. People have asked me about uh, yesterday, yesterday, yesterday's war. So basically, uh, I have already played these missions. I did a series uh, of these missions on a different character, and I'll put the link up top in the right corner. You can click on that and see that playlist. I've already done all these missions in that series, and so since I had done that, I figured, well, there's no need to show it twice here, even under Rami Summers. So I went ahead and played these missions on this character when they first came out. I did the Once and Future Agent, the Core of the Matter, Vorgon Conclusions, and Terminal Expanse. So yesterday's war, as you can see, all those missions have been done on this character already. You can watch my original playthroughs to see what those missions are like if you're curious. I mean, it was really no different on this character, so there was no reason to double record it, if that makes sense because they were exactly the same, not a single difference. So, uh, we are going to continue with Stormbound. Our intelligence indicates increased Tholian activity in the Nakul system. Kaldano believes they are trying to interfere with the Nakul star using the Taksutat. Those Tholians, they are starting this whole problem with the Nakul. Look at them. The Taksu Thought has fallen into hands of the Tholians. Our intelligence indicates increased Tholian activity in the Nakul system. Caldano believes they are trying to interfere with the Nakul in the present because of actions they will take in the future. Caldano has asked you to rendezvous with him in the Nakul system. The Tholians are causing the very problem we have with the Nakul. 
So we have this quantum phase set, quantum phase deflector, quantum phase combat, impulse engine, and resilient shield, and just a regular emitter array. I have not used this quantum set before, so I cannot speak on it. We will look more on its specs and stats at the end here, but I have not ever used that set before. That's one set I've never used. So I don't know if it's good or not. Let's just transwarp straight there, make this nice and simple, easy, get it going. Begin Stormbound. Good to see you again. Thank you for responding to my message so quickly. The Tholians have the quantum phase inhibitor. Ruh -ruh. I've tracked their ship to this system, and I'm detecting some telltale quantum fluctuations within the star. They're trying to use the device. We need to stop them and recover the device. First, however, we need to help the Nakul. At this point in their history, they're not prepared to repel a Tholian attack. Defend the Nakul. The Nakul are hailing us. Should I put it on screen? Yes. Unidentified vessel. You have entered our space without authorization. If you are an ally of the Tholians, leave now. We have done nothing to provoke their attacks, but we will defend ourselves. We will render any assistance we can. What do you need? Thank you. My people have few warships. Any assistance you could provide against the Tholians would be appreciated. Consider it done. unusual quantum fluctuations it's as if the star's nuclear fusion is decaying at an increased rate yeah maybe you should uh re write this down now this is very important uh katek we helped you defend your world against the tholians who are trying to destroy your star not the federation not starfleet the tholians and we helped you and you recognize that so write this down for history's sake. Make a video of it. I know you can. You have that technology. So make a video of it. Make a video recording. Save it in an archive. Because you don't want to forget this fact right now that you just said is a fact. And you're thanking us. So remember that. Yeah, they stole a device from us that interferes with the fusion process in the sun. <laughs> so this is your fault? Uh, what did I just say? What did I just problem. say? I expect you to fix it, or we will hold you and your people responsible for the consequences. Um, no. I didn't make it. We didn't make it. Federation didn't make it. Caldano made it, but he made it in the future, and it's not for this time. It was stolen. The Tholians are using it, not us. You thanked us for helping you against the Tholians. Keep that in mind. Don't blame us. We didn't do it. Caldano created the device in the future. The Tholians stole it from him. We're just trying to set things right. I never should have made that device. I was only focused on the idea, on whether it was possible. I didn't stop to think of all the harm it could do in the wrong hands. We have to stop the Tholians before they shut down the star's fusion. If that happens, the effect on this system will be devastating. The Nakul will lose their home, and life will probably never develop here again. Defeat the Tholians before they can use the quantum phase inhibitor helm, lay in a course. Hey, I wanted that green thing first. The lead Tholian ship has the quantum phase inhibitor. They're going to use it on the star. We have to stop them. Board that vessel and get it back. Yes. Warning. The ship is under attack. Cursed board 
Argonauts. If they hadn't chased me, none of this would have happened. Target's shields have failed. The ship is so awesome. They might have traced me to this time. We will have to go further into the past to hide the quantum field. Target shield has failed. I totally had them. Totally had them. Well, the cool aren't going to be happy. Warning. Ship is under attack. Terran. Thanks for not helping, Caldano. Way back there. I did all the work, as usual. The Tholian ship is disabled and sensors confirm the Toxutot is on board. We can, can't get a lock on it though, too much interference. Recommend we send an away team and a shuttle. Okay. Let's go over, I guess we're gonna need um, outfits. We've docked with a Tholian ship. The good news is that my scans indicate the quantum phase inhibitor is on the bridge. All we need to do is go get it. The bad news is the Tholians know we're here. They're not going to give up without a fight. The Tholians come from an environment... I'm well aware. Let's get our EV suits. Hate having to put on EV suits because it takes away my armor. Just gotta remember where everybody's stuff is. Okay. There we go. Let's do this thing. Wonder what the Tholians are like in the future. Get all this loot. We have 
have to be getting closer to the Taksu thought. Stay alert. I am like owning these Tholians. Uh, he dropped an, a uh, blue nugget. Yeah, I'm ready. I mean, sure, why not? <laughs> you got me involved in this, that's for sure. Set a course for the Ryza system. T uh, 22nd century. Riza. Riza, early 22nd century. Even the tourists won't be in this region for a few years yet. No one will be looking for the quantum phase inhibitor here. Not now, anyway. Let's try that cave up ahead. It looks like a good spot. Sure, I want to get. Wow, rain on Riza? I want to get out I guess they haven't installed the thing. weather control systems yet. Put my Delta suit back on and get everyone else out of their stuff, too. Or back into their stuff. Ta-da! There we go. Okay. Alright, we are in the 22nd century on a very wet and rainy Risa. We have to hide the device very well. I can't afford to let it fall into the wrong hands again. And the Vorgons are very persistent. No, that's too obvious. Anyone could find it there. That's better, but I still think it would be too easy to find. That's it. Someone will find it in a few hundred years, but that's a different story for a different captain. Let's get back to your time. We need to check on the Nakul. Talking about the TNG episode with Picard and Vosh, obviously, finding the Taksu thought. Very, very cool. It all comes for full circle. Now we know how it got here in the first place. Setting course for 2410. We need to get back to the Nakul. 
Yeah, they're probably a little angry at us. Even though it's not our fault. Sir, we've arrived back in the Nikul system in the present, and Caldano has launched his ship. The Tholians are hailing us. Return the Taksu Thought, and we will let you live. We no longer have the device. We've hidden it where you will never find it. Well, now they're, they're not going to be happy about that. It's a lot of them. I can deal with them. They call me Destroyer of Worlds. Uh-oh, mayday, mayday, my temporal drive has been damaged. There goes Caldano. He's going to go live a fate and death in the 22nd century, apparently. This is Captain Walker of the USS Pasta. More time travel people. Yeah, well, no, not really. I don't know. What can you do for us? Um, guess what, Tholians, you may want to brace yourself. Here's how you get out of a web. <laughs> like that. It wasn't us, it was the Tholians, you bonehead. We were unable to stop the Tholians, but we were able to retrieve the Taksutat and hide it where nobody can find it. I'm sure that will be a great comfort to our citizens as they freeze to death. We will do whatever we can to assist you. You have done quite enough. Leave us alone. Time travelers and malcontents and Tholians. The whole lot of you can fall into a black hole. Now go. We have to figure out how to save our people. And then we'll take steps to protect ourselves. Time is a weapon, and it will never be turned against us again. Their, their anger is irrational. Extremely irrational. This is the whole cause of the problem right here. This is where it starts. And he doesn't realize... It's not our fault. It was the Tholians who stole the device and activated it. We had no intention to do that harm to them. And we offered to help, you know, with their evacuation or whatever they need. And he's turning that help down. So he's the one here with the problem, not us. Let us know if you change your mind. This is Captain Benjamin Walker of the USS Postoc. I'm responding to an emergency temporal transmission from these space-time coordinates but we are no longer detecting the source of these transmissions. Did you lose a time traveler? <laughs> that, that, <laughs> that question uh, is something you just don't hear very often, but I kind of like the way it sounds. It's funny, but it's accurate, and it's, I don't know. I just want to go up to somebody one day, you know, in the real world, and I'm just going to say, <laughs> I'm just going to walk up to them and say, uh, did you lose a time traveler? <laughs> By the way... Uh, I'm here. Did you lose a time traveler? Because uh, there's one somewhere out there in time. I just love the way that sounds. That I, I kind of want that on a t-shirt, actually. Did you lose a time traveler? That's a t-shirt worthy thing right there. It just really is. Yes, Caldano's ship was damaged and he fell through a temporal portal. I think you better come aboard while we resolve this. Prepare for transport. Sure, fine. Yellow. Greetings. It's nice to see you again. Again? We've met before? Not that you remember. We need to scan the continuum for Caldano. Would you care to assist me? Yeah, because I know all about scanning timelines. They taught me that in 25th century Starfleet. Not. I like how they just assume I know what I'm doing here. I know how to do this, apparently. Were you able to locate Caldano? His ship is in the 22nd century, but these readings are strange. Enter the temporal coordinates into the transporter. 
Like, how would I know that it's a strange reading? I've never read temporal readings in my life, yet somehow I know it's strange. What is this? Hi. Oh, you're dead. Yeah, so about uh, Caldano. What happened with Caldano? He's dead, and it looks like he's been dead for centuries. No, this was meant to happen. Caldano went further back into the past than you knew. The NX-01 Enterprise, captained by Jonathan Archer, found his ship in the 22nd century, and his chief engineer activated Caldano's emergency temporal circuit, which returned the ship to its last known time, this one. But by the time that happened, Caldano had been dead for centuries. The Tox Uthat is safe. It was found in the mid-24th century by Captain Jean-Luc Picard, who destroyed it before it could be used to harm others. And the Nicole? Isn't there anything we can do for them? Altering the past causes ripples. The effects move through time, shifting everything they touch, and it may take eons for all of them to be seen. The Nakul will survive, although their home world will be lost. They will become time travelers themselves, and their actions in the Temporal Cold War shape the galaxy you now know. There are some things you shouldn't change, that you can't change. Hmm. He said that backwards, but it's written backwards. He, he said you now know, but it's written you know now. There are some things you shouldn't change that you can't change. You could check Captain Archer's old logs for more information, but you will know all about it soon enough. You are entering a dangerous era in history. Time travel like warp drive before it will radically change your society. I'll see you again. We have a lot to do. Well, that's great. More time travel. I actually like time travel, but for those that don't, I could see how this would be tedious, especially after the Iconian stuff. But I personally like time travel. I'm a sucker for it. What can I say? Well, this is a sad day for the Federation. We failed to save the Nakul system, and our friend from the future, Caldano, is dead. I know you did everything you could. Sometimes, especially when you venture into time travel, things must play out a certain way. So at least the timeline has been preserved. Captain McCard can now find the Toxutat on Risa in the 24th century. Still, let us mourn for Caldano and the Nakul people. We'll just take a piece of this quantum stuff. Congratulations, Captain. I have leveled again. Get another specialization point. That's good. Um... Let us quickly look at this. This is a 6241 max shield capacity. This is a resilient shield, so it's not that great for capacity. However, it does have 5% absorption and bleed through for escorts or fast ships. Shield regeneration is pretty low. 10% incoming shield healing to self. Some science officer abilities will repair your shields. Part of a set obviously but it doesn't tell me what the set does I think that's a bug and I hate that bug maybe if I warp back to the soul system it will show me I might even have to equip it but I want to see what the bonuses are on it I want to see what this thing is made for it's not a it's not good for a tank shield but it might be good for an escort or a science ship, but I'm not sure. No, it's still not showing. Let's equip it real quick. It doesn't even have a shield visual. I don't like shields that don't have shield visuals. Wow, so it's not even going to show me what the bonuses are with the set. There it is. Okay, now it'll show me now that it's equipped. Plus 17.8% maximum shield capacity, so it will. It does have a shield capacity upgrade if you have two pieces of the set. Reduces all energy damage to shields, so it has, does that. And then an energy weapon entanglement. Firing energy weapons for 12 seconds triggers a quantum entanglement between the self and the foe. To the self, plus 5% energy weapon damage. That could be good to foe negative weapon energy damage. So basically it's more weapon damage. 
more weapon damage and I guess some shield stuff but not really major there um it's okay but I don't really see I think the Iconian set's still gonna do a ton more damage than this set I don't really see the benefits of this set to be honest don't really see it reduces maybe for a science character because it science abilities help with shield regeneration so maybe on a science character it would have to see what the other pieces do as well but for my ship and the route I'm going definitely the Iconian set for the DPS well guys that was Stormbound um, very interesting mission basically it kicks off this whole temporal cold war thing and I um, wonder why it says replay on time and tide because I haven't played time and tide yet that's weird I haven't played this yet but it says replay that's odd huh I don't know why it says that anyway um, stormbound kind of the beginning of the whole na cool thing here um, very misguided uh, they are, the Nakul. I mean, we didn't cause this problem. We didn't even create it. It was a guy named Caldano in the future. And he, I don't, I don't think he's really part of Starfleet or the Federation. I think he's just kind of like his own scientist, his own self. Maybe with the Daystrom Institute, I don't know. But he doesn't seem to be part, he doesn't wear a, a, a Federation uniform. So I don't think he's with Starfleet or the Federation. He's just a scientist on his own who created it. But... Still, he didn't do it with ill purpose or ill intent, and he never expected the Tholians to steal it and use it on the Nakul. So, you know, and we tried to help the Nakul. We took out all those Tholians. We got the Taksu top back and hit it, and we tried to help with their evacuation or whatever. So, I mean, you know, we done everything we can. They are just totally misguided, and that unfortunately is going to lead to a a downfall in the future with the Nakul, as you will see. So kind of a shame that they um, blamed, us, blamed us for something that's really not our fault. But, you know, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Um, anyways, what else is there to say except thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one.